friends, Matthew here with MatthewInspires.com. I've got a quick tutorial video to share with you how simple and easy it is to create dynamic images for your marketing campaigns. And one of the ways that you might see a lot of marketers really getting their stuff to look great online anyway is to have some editing teams and design teams come together and create powerful images. And there are very few things that you can do online that will really extend your brand and create a positive impression in your target audience than having great pictures and so this is something you definitely want to be paying full attention to but the challenge for most people is I don't have the money to afford a really high-end team or just even a good designer you know it costs significant money just to have someone make images for you and I'm gonna share with you the way that you can do it yourself quickly in a few short minutes I'm actually gonna be doing a webinar Wednesday the 24th of August and I'm actually gonna walk you through a lot more detail uh, some of the amazing things that you can do because all of our images are all in-house we do all this ourselves we don't spend a dollar on actually having a a team come together and do all of our branding and imagery and all that kind of stuff we do that all in-house and that saves us so much money which we're able to then put back into our business obviously the images still look good though <laughs> that's not like oh we're just going off and making making stuff on the cheap we can do this all online with different tools that make it very simple but the thing in this video that I'm going to share with you how to do is to take any image and if you look at the image that I've got in front of you it's a picture of me but on the right hand side of it you'll notice there's a white fade all across the image I'm gonna show you how I did that now the reason you might want to do that is maybe you're doing a Facebook ad and you want to have a couple of image uh, text actually showing up on your image and you don't want to use Photoshop or anything like that like I said those things can be very complicated to learn how to use they also take time which is time away from you doing income producing activities and it's expensive right so I'm gonna share with you how to use a free tool that actually allows you to put this white fade on your images or it could be a black fade or whatever uh, color you want it to be and then you can actually use another tool called Canva or PicMonkey whichever and I'll talk more about those tools in our webinar show you how we use them a little bit more in depth to actually put words over as overlays on top of the image alright so the first off you're gonna need to get GIMP G-I-M-P I've already got it installed on my computer so I'm gonna go over here and get it to load up for us and while I'm doing that let me show you what the original image looks like so you have a better idea so we can compare these two so you'll see that picture number one that's the original and this is it with the fade now we could put some text over it here to make it look really cool um, but I'm not gonna do that in the first step first step is gonna be to add this white overlay as you see on the right hand side and I'll show you how quick this can go so we already have the program up GIMP is loaded for us what I'm gonna do is drag the picture into the program alright there we go alright so let me just X out of this now all that is uh, that I have to do is come over to layers go down to mask add alpha add layer mask what this is gonna allow me to do is actually put that white overlay that you see on a certain part of the picture you can choose different types it could be black for example but I'm gonna use white in this case and then I need the tool that's actually gonna spread that white layer over it so I go over here to tools and it should be in let me see which one it is I'm looking for blend uh, there it is blend alright so under paint tools blend alright then all you're gonna do is click down on one portion of the picture drag this straight line down to wherever you want on the image and you'll see it covers in now you'll see those those pixels that are showing up there that's it's it's not white yet when you actually apply the layer that's when it will turn it into to that white color so it's just showing you kind of where the white could be so that's a little bit too far over my face so I'm gonna see if I can come down here and you have to play around with this a little bit to get a better sense of what angle you want to have your uh, white mask show up on so that's kind of where I'm looking to have it would be there okay so we're not done yet I have to come back here go down to mask apply layer mask all right now I want to make this part of it on the far right a little bit a little wider I'm gonna add another layer so let's go back and do the same thing again mask add layer mask make sure that's white full opacity or opacity however you say that alright and then I'm gonna come down here and drag down to this section All right now see that's covering too much of my face so I'm gonna undo that let's see if I can just do here ah, still a bit too much of my face and this is kind of like a trial by error thing here to make sure you get in the right angle uh, let's see if I do about here still covering my face alright so let's try here okay that's giving me a little bit of a shade there there we go okay give me a little bit of angles see that's what I wanted a bit more like I wanted to kind of turn her out at the corner like give a little bit of a corner alright so 
that looks good I'll add that one on apply layer mask I'm gonna do one more just so you guys can see this again again we're going to layer mask add layer mask alright white full opacity or opacity however you're supposed to say that I'm gonna apply again alright now it's not as large as I want it to be I want it to come up to my knee let's see here there we go that's a bit better okay so this will be the last one so we're gonna apply layer mask now we're not done we need to actually save this image in order to do that you come over here to edit and actually file and export as alright and I'm gonna do uh, tutorial test start just so I know which one it is I'm gonna put this on my desktop you hit export and it'll work give it give it a moment to do this okay I click export to finalize it as a JPEG alright let's go and take a look at it real quick alright so that's the, the original that's the other one I showed you here we go alright so this is the one I just made now you notice there's a little bit of white on my face so I can go back into it and kind of play around with it to make sure that it's my face may be a little uh, clearer but it, it's fine now we've got that white part to the image now to put text on it all you would do is use a tool like Canva for example and you can see we've already done quite a few images with this like I said we use this all the time for example you can see this is one uh, from one of my wife's brands where we actually use this exact feature and then took half of the image made it white so that you could actually put the text on it and that's how that came out all right so there's a couple other examples I could probably show you here here's one here I, this is actually currently my Facebook profile page now it doesn't show you what we did with this white area but we actually put logos of Facebook Twitter, Instagram, all my social media profiles so that people would know how to find me online because I moved from using my personal profile for business to use my public pages or more. Same here, this is a Facebook ad for example where we did this exact same process and the cool thing with Canva is that you can use their templates to really set everything up and so we can see that here's that mask, that white mask on the side so it really catches your attention now it's easier to read the text as well All right. So that's a, a powerful way to use the tool I just shared with you. Again, the, we're going to be going into much more in depth. I'm going to show you really how to save thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month in design fees and really giving yourself that million dollar presence with a lot of these tools that are free or cost very little to use and can take minutes like I just shared with you in this quick uh, tutorial how to actually add that white layer mask onto your images. So that webinar, there's going to be a link below this video where you can register. Make sure you do. I'd love to see you there live. I'm also going to be answering any questions, but I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes in our business and showing you the critical components of our imagery, how we created this million dollar imagery with these free tools. All right. And so that'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a comment and, and uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I challenge us all to dream, then find a way. God bless.